Hey finders, welcome back to Fortune Finds. Today I'm going to be doing a lip swatching video. You guys know the drill. Love these videos. They always put me in a good mood. And today I need some good vibes. I need a good mood because my little kitty baby Brogan, my cat, if you don't know who Brogan is, is getting surgery today. So please um, keep him in your prayers. Him and I would really appreciate it. Yeah, it's kind of been hard. I have been super emotional this entire weekend. Um, I usually film on Saturdays and Sundays, but this weekend I was just such a mess with dealing with him that Honestly, like I couldn't even think of sitting down to film, but today he's going into surgery. I told myself I need to pick myself up and get some things done um, and keep my spirits high. So that is what I'm doing today. And I thought, what better than a lip swatching video? If you have been subscribed to my channel for a little while now, you know I love a good lip swatch videos. I am a lipstick hoarder. I am a lipstick addict. But if you are new to my channel, please be sure to subscribe and click the bell button. This way you get a notification whenever it is I'm uploading a new video. I'm going to be swatching the BH Cosmetics Royal Affair Liquid Lipstick Set. You get this super cute little case. I love this sequins. You can make it silver. I love this. I'm like so obsessed with this. Every time I see something that you can change the color of the sequins on, like if I'm in a store with Mike, I literally have to stop for five minutes and do it. But I do really like it. The pink color. Hot pink is like my jam. And look at this little pom-pom. It is so cute. It retails for $24.50 and you get five liquid lipsticks. They're pink and red tones. So nudie pinky reds, you know? I have worn a few of these a few times. I'm not really into like first impressions. That's not really my gig. I'm not against them though. You will see some first impressions now and again here on my channel, but I do like to try out products and come out with lists of like pros and cons of everything. That's just how we do here on Fortune Finds. So without further ado, let's stop babbling and let's get on to the lip swatching video. So I did film a video earlier today. I am doing a another BH Cosmetics product. Actually, I am doing a wear test of their BH Liquid Foundation Naturally Flawless. It is a light to medium coverage foundation. If you are interested in seeing how this wears all day, because I'm doing an all day wear test, did I say that? I don't know. I feel a little off today. I'm a little bit crazy. Um, that will have that will be up on my channel on Thursday. So again, be sure you ring the bell button so you can check out. In that video, I did apply this lipstick. This is one of the lipsticks, and this is in the shade. No, where is the shade that I'm wearing? The shade Vanilla. It does take a little bit of time to dry down. It's going to take at least five minutes for the stickiness to really go away. I have been wearing this for 20 minutes and there's like a little bit of stickiness right in the center, but it's not bad. They do have like a soft kind of like powdery texture. Typically, I don't really love that. Are they super drying? No. Are they comfortable? Yes. Could they be more comfortable? I believe so. But I do have some facts about them that I pulled up on my phone. Matte neutral shades. They are lightweight, long lasting lip color, comfortable and breathable, full coverage color, vegan, dermatologist tested, allergy tested, and gluten free. They will last for a good four hours and they do start to fade in the butt of the lips, which is typical of a liquid lipstick. So that's nothing really to know. This is a shade that I'm wearing called Vanilla. So I just wanted to swatch it on my hand for you guys. And now the next shade I'm going to apply is the shade Karen. So this is the shade Karen right here. It is a beautifully light colored pink. So I did go ahead and I did take the lipstick off. I kind of left the lip liner on like as much as I could just because lip liner, I'm wearing a Huda Beauty Trophy Wife does kind of go with every single lipstick. So I'm gonna apply the next shade. This one, I don't really like. Like the pigmentation on this one isn't great. I think it would work if I could throw like a gloss on over it, if I could throw like another lipstick, if I threw on my Maybelline Baddest Beige, which is like my favorite drugstore nude lipstick on over this. I think it would look really, really nice. But overall alone, I don't, I'm not really loving this. I want to say this is like a much thinner and lighter formula than the last one I tried on, which is pretty interesting. It does feel kind of dry and it does still have that powdery effect. Let's take this one off. I'm not loving this one. It looks really, really nice swatched. Not so nice on the lips though, in my opinion, honestly. This is the shade Stephanie. It is right here. And this is what it looks like. I really like this color. This one applied very much like the first one, which these have like such crazy names. I can't remember them. Not that I should talk because my name is Fortune, but what is this name? 
Vanilla. It's like kind of like the NYX lip butter. Kind of has that like thick gel like but like linen-y powdery finish. It is really nice. Um, it doesn't leave that powdery finish like a Kylie lip kit. Those I don't like. If you guys watch my channel you know I like really uh, I am uh no. And move on to the next shade. These come off really nicely. They're not like super easy to take off but they're not like super hard or I need to scrub my lips. And the next shade I'm going to apply is this red one. This is in the shade Maria. I like that Maria. A classic name for a classic shade. And this is the shade right here. Oh that's pretty. Okay let's see what it looks like on. I have not worn this one. Oh it's like a blood, a blood red. I really like the pigment in this shade. I feel like this one really went on nicely. The pigment really packs a punch and it is really there. I had to do a few swipes back and forth. I feel like the wand doesn't really pick up a lot of liquid. It's not a thick formulation, but it's not liquid where it's just like swipe, swipe, done. You kind of like got to rub it into the lips. And again, this is in the shade Maria. So we have one more left. I'm going to try and do a good job with this one because... I have one more video to film today, so I want to make sure my lips don't look totally atrocious. Last but not least, we're going to apply the shade Simone. And I love that name. It's something so sexy about that name, Simone. Mm. these are the five shades swatched all together. I love them. I think this is a beautiful liquid lipstick set. The colors are everything you can dream of. They are not the best liquid lipsticks I've ever applied on my lips, but for the price, you get a lot and you get some really nice shades. I have yet to find a liquid lipstick that tops my Fenty Beauty Lip Sun of Shades. I just gotta say it and I just gotta be real. So if you want a quality liquid lipstick and are willing to spend $24 alone on just one lipstick because you are really paying for quality. No offense BH Cosmetics. I do really like these. I'm not I'm not saying they're bad. But these are just like amazing. If you are on a budget and you have no liquid lipsticks or very minimum liquid lipsticks and you're trying to fill out your collection with certain colors like the ones featured in this set, then I definitely would buy this. However, if you are someone that owns a lot of liquid lipsticks, you have a lot of pinks, you have reds, you have everyday shades, I don't really think that you need to buy this. Do I feel like I'd be missing out on something spectacular if I didn't have this set? No. It is important that if you are thinking about buying this product to buy it because it does sell out quite often. In the matter of like two days of receiving it, I went online and it was sold out. So I didn't do a video on it as soon as I got it because I'm not going to do a video um, talking about a product that you guys can't actually purchase. But BH Cosmetics did bring it back. Again, it retails for $24.50. So get it while you can. That's why I had to get this video in. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up down below. Leave me some love in the comments. Let me know what do you think about this liquid lipstick set? Would you buy it? What was your favorite shade that I swatched today? I'm really curious. I would love to know. Again, I, did I say that this was Stephanie? I really like Stephanie. I think this is my favorite shade. This and the red one were really nice and I did really like the first one, Vienna. I don't know. I kind of like them all except for this shade right here. Four out of five ain't bad. Like there was just a fluke in the bunch. Just a friendly reminder, if you are not subscribed, please be sure to do so. I do read my analytics and I see that a lot of you that watch my YouTube channel are not yet subscribed and I would really love for you to subscribe because it helps me out a lot. I would love for this to become like a full-time job for me and if you guys subscribed, I mean I'm just going to be honest, like this is the goal. Like, I love doing this. I do this out of passion, but it would be nice if I could do this for a living. And your subscription means a lot to me. So if you want to keep seeing videos and potentially seeing more videos, maybe we could get to like three or maybe even four times a week. That would be awesome. So be sure to subscribe and also click the bell button. This way you get a notification every time I'm uploading a video here on my YouTube channel. I had a great time as always. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you in my next one. Bye finders. Mwah.